The cool thing about being first to market with a hot new product is you get to soak in all that sweet buzz. Well, in the smartphone world, it doesn't get much more buzzworthy than 5G, and Motorola has found a way to get there first. Sorta. From Motorola's headquarters in Chicago, I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is the world's first 5G phone. Kinda. Okay, technically, Motorola did bring a bunch of us here to show us a new phone, this Moto Z3 right here. But to quote Halt and Catch Fire, this isn't the thing. This is the thing that gets us to the thing. There's just nothing remarkable about the Moto Z3. It's basically a Z3 Play with a different camera and a newer processor. The camera packs the exact same specs as last year's underwhelming Moto Z2 Force, though, and the processor isn't the top-of-the-line Snapdragon 845, but instead last year's 835. Those compromises get you a phone that's under 500 bucks, but it's also exclusive to Verizon Wireless. Now, this is by no means a full review, but folks, you probably don't need me to tell you that this isn't exactly going to set the world on fire. For that, you need to get one of these. This is what Motorola meant when it teased a whole new way to communicate. And for this, I need you to jump ahead with me in time a little bit to early 2019. That's when this mod will go on sale, and it's also when Verizon's new 5G network will presumably be complete enough in launch markets to deliver the kind of speeds 5G promises. Now, I was pretty meh on 5G until I attended this event, and I know that's true for a lot of you as well. I mean, if you live in a city with great 4G coverage, your phone is probably fast enough already. And when I first saw the kind of fluffy 5G experience zone that Motorola built at its headquarters here, I was still unmoved. But then I realized that on my flight out here, I had one of the exact problems that 5G is looking to solve. I was sitting on the tarmac waiting to fly out, trying to download a podcast I wanted to listen to on the air, and the overburdened 4G network at Boston Logan just wasn't fast enough to deliver it in time. A 5G connection could have downloaded 400 podcasts in the same time period, or an entire season of Star Trek Discovery in a couple minutes. That's insane. Delivering those speeds takes some insane equipment as well. See, the 4G networks that phones use now mainly use the same cellular bands phones have been using for years, between 600 megahertz and 2.5 gigahertz. Your home Wi-Fi connection lives a little higher in the spectrum, between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and the 5G mobile network Verizon is building is way up at 28 gigahertz. So you need special antennas for that. There are four of these built into the 5G Moto Mod, and a special modem, Qualcomm's new Snapdragon X50. Qualcomm told me that as recently as three years ago, these antennas were thought to be impossible to build. That's how cutting edge this stuff is. But, and there's always a but, while high frequency radio waves are great for data speed, they're terrible at penetrating buildings and walls. Even a finger can disrupt the signal, which is part of the reason there are four of these antennas built into the mod. So, the mod also includes a separate modem, the X24, which promises one of the fastest 4G connections you can get. When you slap the mod onto the back of the phone, the mod's modems take over for the phones, and all three components, the phone, the mod, and the network communicate to deliver the best data connection you can get for wherever you happen to be. Now, all this equipment takes a lot of power to operate, so the mod also has its own 2000 mAh battery built in as well. Yeah, you're starting to see why this thing is so thick. Motorola says it is working to make this mod compatible with other Moto Z phones, but only the Verizon branded ones. Okay, so Motorola brought us out here to impress us, and in my case, yeah, it worked to an extent. I'm coming away from the announcement with a new appreciation for the potential of 5G. And it's nice to see a Moto Mod used for something more impressive than playing music or printing out some Polaroids. But it's still weird, right? I mean, think about it. By the time this mod is available, it's highly likely other smartphone makers will have phones with 5G baked right in. While I'm personally excited to test the first 5G networks, by 2019, I'm not going to want to use a Moto Z3 to do it. So will Motorola release another Moto Mod compatible phone? It kind of feels like the sun has set on those. 
Will Motorola make a fully integrated 5G phone? Yeah, maybe. And what about other carriers beyond Verizon? All of them are taking their own paths to 5G. Folks, I always hate to end a video on the lukewarm note of stay tuned, but uh, I also won't lie to you. It's the best I can do for now. This video is brought to you by Tunnel Bear. True story, it's the first VPN I ever used, and I'm genuinely glad to sponsor it. Tunnel Bear lets you browse the web safely on a public hotspot, which I'm on frequently, and it lets you do it with the flick of a switch. Tunnel Bear even opened itself up to an independent audit to prove it's keeping its security promises. Mainly though, I've gotta be real, I'm here for the mascot. Help support Mr. Mobile, secure your browsing for the next two years, and save almost 60%. Hit the links in the description to secure your special deal on Tunnel Bear. And thanks. From Chicago to Boston to Brooklyn. Next week is off to New York for Samsung folks, so make sure you're subscribed to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss it. And do let me know in the comments if you do want me to cover the Z3 in a full review. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.